Magic Flying Potato here, hope you're doing well. I'm going to be doing a starter guide for Survival Fountain of Youth. This is in demo right now, so things that you see in this video can change with future updates, so just be aware of that. This is slated as a hardcore survival game, so that means health, hunger, thirst, durability, weather, getting sick, getting hurt are all big factors in this game, so you're going to be dealing a lot with just trying to keep those stats up and to survive in this game. So let's go ahead and start with a new game and I will explain the settings and what the differences are. So the first thing is, is skip the intro and tutorial. So if you have not ever played this game before, I suggest just leaving this on because it will guide you through the first stages of the game. It's not a very long tutorial, but it's enough to get you started. And it will also give you the background of the game. It is based off actual facts so that's something interesting to know about this game true survival mode if you pick this one life if you turn it on one and done so if you die the game is over and you start from the beginning we will go ahead and go through the three difficulty levels and one thing to know about the different difficulty levels is the amount of items you are able to take with you off the sinking ship so on easy level you're able to take three items from the ship inventory before you jump into the water once you jump in the water and land on the island everything else on that ship is gone normal level as you can see it will tell you right here on the ship you're only able to take two items with you before jumping off the ship hard level you're only able to take one item with you from the ship and very hard you can't take anything from the chest from the ship you just have to jump right into the water and uh see how well you can survive once you get to the island i'm gonna do this on normal so let's go ahead and get started so right here, this is the very start of the game, and I'm just going to do a quick walkthrough of what you need to pick up. Go ahead and pick this inventory up. You can read that whenever you do do it. Out the door. Take a right. Another right. A left. And then we're going to go up this ladder right here. Once you get up here, do a 180 and go to the front of the ship. Pick up the captain's map turn around and head for that room right there you see in front of you once you're in the room go ahead and grab this it, these these notes kind of give you tips and information on what you should look for when you are on the island and just background information next thing is we're going to take this flint and steel turn around come over to this oil lamp right here turn that on Open up the expedition logbook. Place the map on this stand. Okay, once you wake up from being knocked out, come over, grab the map real quick. This is the grotto mat. Come over to the chest. Now you're able to take two items. My suggestion is always take the leather backpack because it gives you an additional 11 inventory slots. This will give you up to 16. So take that. Now these other items, don't, don't worry about the bag of provisions. Navy coat is an important item that you may consider taking. Don't worry about this because we will find one of these on the island. The iron flint helps you start fires quickly. That could be an option. And the iron ax is another considerable option to take because this will help you gather resources. These other items down here, I wouldn't even bother. For me, I like taking the navy coat because if you look at the protection that it has of 100% sun, wind, rain, and cold, plus 15 armor, and it, it's a high durability as of right now, this is, in my uh, opinion, the best bet to take as a secondary item. You can take the iron axe or the flint. Those are the next two options I would take. Everything else I would leave behind. But let's go ahead, take those, and get started on the island. Once you get them, jump out. It confirms if you want those items. Okay, so welcome to the island. So I'm going to go over the HUD real quick before we actually get into what we should do first. So top right corner, that is your quest and what the, the game wants you to look for or do. So if you see right there, they want me to find a green coconut. J is your goals, your quest guide right here. So you have active 
you have deferred you have completed and back to active and then you have these different items down here in this inventory it's right here in the inventory we'll look at this whole screen in a little bit let's go back to the hud over on the top right corner as you can see there is nothing there right now that is your character status so if something is going on with your character it will appear up in the top right corner and when it does if you hit the c key right here is the character statuses of course we're near death because we just had a life-changing event happen so that's what the negative 10 down here that's showing on your health bar is and they say take medicine to get rid of that but any other statuses such as sunburn sick tired nighttime anything that you see will will appear here as well and you can click on it and read about it look down at the bottom left corner and we'll go over that so the first thing you see on the far left is that is your health so different things affect your health taking damage being overly tired hurting yourself from falling and and things like that that would drop and that red bar is in the red on top means that that a semi-permanent effect you cannot go higher than that unless you sleep or take medicine to remove some of that red bar next one over is your hunger so it shows you uh where your hunger levels are at we'll look more at these in a little bit as well because you will we'll actually see the numbers but this is just a quick reference for you when you are playing next one over is your thirst level and then the the one to the right with a little lightning bolt that is your energy level now certain tasks that you do if straight down at the bottom of the screen okay as you see running right there that white bar turning uh going down that is your energy level so that's something to be very aware of when you when you're playing this game because that does have effects on everything that you do okay so we're gonna find some food in this area this area has quite a bit of food to begin with there are coconuts right here so if we pick up a coconut and pick up this one there are two different styles there is the green coconut, which gives you water. There is the ripe coconut, which gives you food. And also look at the different, the different trees do have different items on them. So this is a coconut tree. So if I look at it, it, it tells me a coconut palm and shows me what's on that coconut palm. There is two, there's three coconuts on it. But if you select them, it says you're going to need a knife to cut them down with. And we don't have one. So we will harvest those in a little bit once, once we craft a knife. Second thing to look for for food is come over to this box right here. Here. it has a loaf of bread go ahead and take that this does have a shelf life right here so this this bar means this is how long this loaf of bread will last it will also tell you right here that it will spoil in 20.8 days so this bread will last for a while now if we go into the water I want to show you something real quick about going into the water. There are two effects in the water that you have to look out for. One is holding your breath underwater. And two is if you look down at the energy bar, it is going down. If that energy bar reaches zero while you are treading water like I am right now, you can tell if you're treading, if your hands are out doing this, you will drown. So be sure to keep an eye, very close eye on that when you're in the water. But we're going to go down and get some more food. So if we come down here... We'll go ahead and grab a sea urchin and a starfish. And I'll just grab a second starfish for good, just good measures. Come over to this chest right here. There is an apple in here. Go ahead and grab that apple. This expires in 13 days. It does two food, 20 water. I'm going to grab this sea urchin as well and then go back to shore. So the, the first task when they when we come to this island is craft coconut water. So we're going to come back underneath the tree, open up the inventory tab. Now when you click, when you have items in your inventory and you click on them, in order to do something with these items, if you look down here in the bottom right corner under blueprints, go ahead and click blueprints. That will open it up and tell you what you're able to do on the left side with the item that you 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 have selected so right here this blueprint is to make coconut water requires one i do have one it will tell you the amount of time it takes to open this coconut up so let's go ahead and craft this coconut all right so we opened it up and now this is a drinkable resource right here so this is a good source of water we'll go over to inventory so if we look at it the water is we get plus 30 water if you can see down here at this water tab right here this thirst tab it does the green bar shows you how much it it restores you do have a chance of indigestion which means getting a belly ache if you do take this 
5% is very low, so go ahead and just drink it or eat it. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to look your status tab. So go ahead and hit tab. Now, here's your statuses like I was telling you before. So, so we have a 45 chance of getting a flu and it blocks natural recovery Why we are why we are wet. This is the full recovery bar. So when this reaches zero, the soaked effect will go away. How to get rid of this is stay near a fire stay in a shelter or equip protective clothes go over to the inventory so this is what your character is wearing or has equipped these are your weapons you have two slots available to you right now five more can be unlocked your ammo slots here is your inventory section and you have 16 slots if you did not have this leather backpack you would only have five slots that's why i say pick it this is your weight right above above the the inventory slot so with this weight as you progress this will be able to carry more but right now once you get to 25 pounds that is the amount of weight that you can carry without having any effects of slowing you down or anything like that once you get above this then it will start slowing you down and if you carry too much you won't be able to move at all until you drop items down here is defense so this is telling me that with my navy coat on i have 100 percent protection against Sun, wind, freezing, 25% defense against rain, and an armor rating of 15%. So if I do take this off, everything goes down to zero. So that means if I go out in the sun or if it starts raining or windy, those all have effects on me. You can get sunburn in this game. So be careful about that. Always wear something. Down here is, again, a, another look at your statuses. So here is your food stat, and it will tell you by numbers here. So um, at 32 out of 100, thirst is 77 out of 100. Your energy stat, 71 out of 100. And your health stat is 85 out of 100. And also you will see this red bar means we are suffering from the effect from the ship. So if we take some sort of medicine or sleep decent amount of times with good sleep, this bar will start to decrease. Right here is the time of day. So this is, it will tell you the weather. It's clear, medium wind and also the day night cycle so be be sure to, to watch this because being doing trying to do things at night does have an effect on you and again right here this just tells you any item that you click on what's going on here and the blueprints for each item that you have in there if you're able to make items with it here's your crafting menu you got food medicine tools fire starters weapons buildings ship and other items so whenever you come over here these will be the things that you are able to make if you actually have a picture if they're grayed out that means you have to find them or or discover them somehow as of right now anything that has this red lock on it means that it is unavailable in the demo here's your journal so once again if you need to go to certain papers like we saw on the book or here's the grotto map these are where you will find those character right here so this is your survival abilities you have all these survival abilities these are locked in the demo so down here we won't be able to do any of these or go th over to this level level four and above this is your skill level so as you do any of these items these skill levels will increase as you can see i was in there swimming so it is increasing and it will tell you over here on the right side as you click on them what happens when you level up with these different skills survival points so the next one is in two days so the longer you survive on the island survival points will unlock like this and that will let you upgrade these specific areas so for this it costs one survival point to unlock for level one level two it costs two survival points so this is just something that click on them and see which one which one you think you need the most when you start unlocking them player choice so yeah resource map is not available right at the start of the game we will cover this at the very end let's go back right here so if we look at the top right corner it tells us we want to raise our food value to 50 percent so we did grab a few things so we did grab this ripe coconut if you blueprint it down here craft it 20 minutes to craft go back to your inventory right here is the coconut plus 10 food plus three water five percent interject indigestion go ahead and eat it it did not raise our 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 uh food stat very high we need to get it above 50 percent this is why i had us go out there and grab these sea urchins if we blueprint it you can see one sea urchin and one starfish makes the caviar. If you click right down here, we're going to make two of them, which will take 20 minutes to craft them. 
So now that we have two, we'll go back to the inventory. If you look, this will give us 12 plus 12 food plus seven water, 5% chance of indigestion. So let's go ahead and eat those. If you look at the green bars, it'll tell you how much it will raise it. So now we are above 50%. I'm just going to eat one more. And there we are. We're, we're now we're above 60 and 87. Next goal is to find a good place to sleep. I suggest putting the your sleeping mat down in a shaded area or a protected area. So right now it is, if we look at the time of day, it is night, uh, getting close to nighttime. You want to try to put this in a shadow. We're going to go ahead and remove some green palms from the tree because making a sleeping mat, if you look blueprints right here is a primitive bed of leaves which requires five narrow leaves which are the green palms that we have three let's go ahead and grab two more here is five right here and i'm gonna put my bed right here underneath this tree so we'll go into the inventory hit blueprints come down to primitive bed Hit the space bar to place it. That arrow tells you which direction the bed is facing. White bar means you can place it. Red bar means you can't. Hit E to confirm your location. Which will remove the outline and just leave this portion right here. Now interact with it again. Hit your space bar because we do have all five. It's green. Hit the space bar to place it. This will take an hour to do. Build it. Now they want us to set a signal fire. So if we go over to our crafting section down to fire starters right here is the smoke signal. What we need is yellow leaves and a small stick. So right here is yellow leaves and right here is a small stick. And as you discover new things, as you saw right there on the left, it will unlock blueprints. So if we click on this for blueprints right here, we are able we are not able to make the smoke signal as of yet because we need four more yellow uh, leaves and one more stick go ahead and grab some yellow leaves from the tree and from the ground and here is another stick and i'm going to place uh, the smoke signal right out here blueprints able to craft this so place it i'll turn this around so it faces that way E, E again, space bar to place the resources and space bar to build it. Okay, so with this right here, this sends up a plume of green smoke just like this. This is a, a way to locate bases or key locations. You will be able to see that green smoke going up into the air from far distances on the island because it goes all the way up. So this is, this is a way to find your bases or key locations now we're going to sleep six hours so come over to the bed go ahead and hit e to interact with it right here so as you want to sleep it gives you natural recovery which is available anything green is good right here is not so they say health is restored while sleeping but being that we are below we are not going to get a bonus for this so we want to bring health and make sure our water is above 60 percent before we go to sleep what i want to do is i actually want to eat some food so there we go now we're up to 76 percent so as you can see now that we're above 60 on both both our, our statuses are green for natural recovery and quality of sleep right here is the amount of time you can sleep you can change this up and down for amount of time that you want it says go ahead i'm gonna go ahead and sleep for seven hours Okay, so if you look up at the top left, you have new statuses. So if you hit the C key, it will tell you what they are. Natural recovery because the status was green when we went to sleep. So 20% energy. So this gives you all the effects that a natural recovery good sleep does for you. Right here is all these 30, these, these percentages. This right here also says that you're full of energy and perform tasks at lower chance of injury. This reduces injury by 25%. So we're going to go ahead and find a stone. So if we come over here, stones kind of are hard to find in this game. So they, they're highlighted and this color, anything that is a darker color is not a stone. And I will go ahead and show you where some more stones are at. So with this, we're going to create a stone cutter. So if we go into our inventory, click on this stone, click on blueprints right here we're able to craft a stone or we're able to craft a stone cutter if or a stone axe if we have a small stick but right now they want us to craft a stone cutter so let's go ahead and craft it 
it's in our inventory but it goes directly if these two slots are open it will go directly to uh, uh, one of these slots if there's something here it will go into your inventory quick note on these items right here again durability has a huge factor in this game this is a dura the durability anything you do with this knife reduces durability quickly so just just remember that and these cannot be repaired just the regular stone knife i'm gonna go ahead and show you where two uh two more locations of stones are at so if we head here's the beach the, the palm tree the smoke signal if we head up towards this group of rocks up here right off to the right there is a pile of stones and also a large stone so let's go ahead and head up there and we will pick up some more sticks while we were here as well so as you're going up if you come over to these right here you can go ahead and grab sticks off of these so harvest the sticks when you harvest them they will still stay here like this they won't go anywhere until you cut them down i recommend not cutting things down because as of right now because you will resources will respawn over time so I'm just going to harvest a few of these and then head over to this location up here. And if you look right here, there is a pile of rocks. If you open that up, there are six of them. Gathering them takes an hour and it adds 16 pounds to you. So now you do have six rocks. And what I'm going to do, we're going to go ahead and build an axe. So if we come over here to the stone axe, as you can see, we have the rock. We have the stick. Go ahead and craft it. It goes into your inventory hand right here. It does have 80% health. And this does tell you what the the weapon or, or tool does that is in your hand. If you come around here, there is a massive stone. If you put this into your inventory, if you look up at the top, right, top left corner, now you see a weight with an exclamation point on it. If you hit C, this means I am overloaded. My movement speed is slowed because as you see, I'm only allowed to carry 25 pounds and now I got 26.2. We'll go to our inventory. This is the big rock. If you blueprint it, it will let you do a variety of things. Make campfires with stones. This can break down into four stones or make a stone blade. But right now we're not gonna carry this. I am gonna go back to my inventory and drop it on the ground. Things that you drop on the ground, like rocks and stuff they will stay there so as of right now as in the demo if you drop stuff on the ground they will stay there they are persistent and will not go away come up to this tree right here and we're going to just go ahead and take three of these long sticks with us make sure we do have enough inventory space and i am going to go ahead and make a spear this is a quest later on but we're going to go ahead and make it right now come down here wood spear craft it and I am going to replace it in my inventory in, into one of my carrying slots right here. And I'll show you why in a second. So now it says find the picture on the grotto. So we're going to go ahead and continue on with the quest. Hit J. Right here it says find the survivors. Go ahead and click this. This is that map we picked up on the ship. So we want to look for this cave right here. Key thing to look for is this stone up here and a whale bones on the beach. So if I go back and I look around at different things, right there is where the grotto is at because there's that big flat stone. So we want to head to the beach side of this grotto. So let's go ahead and run down to the beach. So as we run along the beach, you will see crabs and stuff on it. My suggestion is to at least get one crab. You can throw the spear at it. So if you sneak up behind them and you hold your left mouse button down, it will charge your spear. Aim above them and throw your spear and you should be able to get them. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that crab, uh, spear and grab the crab. And we're going to go ahead and move along the beach. So as we come over here, we can see that there are whale bones right here. If you look to your left, there is the grotto. Okay, so there is one note. If uh, before going into the cave, if you run over to the whale bones, you'll find this little tablet right here of an Indian drawing. So go ahead and grab it and it shows you, teaches you how to hunt animals. So just a, it's a tip on how to hunt things in the game. So grab that. And then we'll go ahead and go into the cave. Let's go ahead and go inside. 
Now, as we go inside, we got some resources. We got some puffball mushrooms. We've got some yellow leaves, but we also have scorpions. So be careful when you come in here. Sometimes they're hard to see depending on the darkness of the cave. What I'm going to do is I'm going to crouch down and I'm just going to stab these from a distance. Don't want to get too close to them because if you get too close, they will sting you and you will start suffering poison effects. Go ahead and get this third one right here and make sure you pick them up because we will need them. So now the two new quests that we have is take the letter and check the map on the wall. So right here is the letter and right there is the map on the wall. Take the letter. So this letter right here just tells you a little bit about Ponce de Leon. I'm not going to read it. Right here is the map on the wall. So we're going to go ahead and check this. This tells you that this is the island of hope and this is the map just a very basic map so we're here and they want us to go here because he left the spyglass on this island next thing we have over here is another letter and also a bottle of living water so click on this and uh this will restore your health like i said this is why we didn't grab it from the ship and that will remove the red from your health bar right here so it's right down here as you can see it gives you plus 30 to recovery and plus 50 health but as of right now we're 90 out of 100 so really don't want to take it until we get down low enough to where it would do some use next thing they want us to do is cook on a campfire so come over here grab some of these pieces of wood go ahead grab this rope as well and the new goal is the resource map. We'll take a look at that in a second. Come here and grab this Jatoba gum. And there's another piece right here. So in order to cook on a campfire, if you interact with this campfire, right here it will tell you the campfire. It will tell you you have no fuel and fuel type. Do not use long sticks on your campfire. These are very useful for other things. Not good to put on the campfire. Click this button. It will give you other options to put on the campfire. Only use small sticks or other items. Don't don't use the long sticks. I just, just want to put that out there. And also, one thing to remember is once you put these sticks on the fire, as of right now, you're not able to remove them. That's why I'm telling you, make sure you select the right item. I made the mistake and put the long sticks on and I lost them. So we're going to go ahead and add fuel. And each time you put a stick on, it will tell you how long this fire will last. So I'm going to just do three hours. Come over here. This is the process. No weather conditions because we are in a cave, but we don't have a fire starter. So what we're going to do, if you try to ignite it, it will t you can't do it because there is no fire starter. So what we need to do is go into our inventory, click on the stick, click on blueprint. Right here is the fire starter. It takes two sticks. Go ahead and craft one of these. Now go out, go back to your fire. And as you see, here is your spindle fire starter. Each time you use it, it reduces its durability by five. And we have about a 20% chance of igniting it. And with this uh, Jatoba gum, it reduces the process by 30 minutes. If I remove this, it takes about an hour to make this. Let's go ahead and ignite it. The first time they they let you do it pretty quickly so other times it does take more attempts until you build up your fire starting skill so right up there at the top left as you can see i am sitting by a campfire and the effects are flu treatment defense against pests and scares off pests so this will like scorpions and things like that if you're sleeping outside in a pest area cook on a campfire go ahead and interact with e right here we this is why i had let's go get that crab so go ahead and craft it throw that on the fire just like that now it is a roasted crab back out of here now they want us to craft a steam leaf bandage so if you go over here this is the steam leaf bandage for medicine but we need a wide leaf so we're going to go over here in the cave and pick up the wide leaf that is sitting on the ground and we'll just go ahead and pick up all the leaves sitting on the ground Come back to the campfire. We are overweight as of right now, so... So we're going to craft one of these. And that is it for the tutorial. Right now, it says reach the small island. So that gives you the very basic basics of this tutorial. We'll go ahead and look at time. So it is, it is nighttime. We do not have enough to sleep in here as of right now. I'm going to go outside, grab a couple more branches so we can make a bed. And we're going to go ahead and sleep in here. As you can see, the weather effect right now is rain. So it is raining outside, but being that we are in a cave, the rain does have the rain has no effect on us or the fire. Look up the top right corner. That that symbol right there means it's dark. So we have 20% chance of injury. So they say stay near the fire 
light a torch or sleep. In the demo, we are not able to make torches. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to place a bed. Go over, click on the narrow leaves, blueprints, bed, and place it. Confirm it. Interact. Place resources. Build it. Fire went out. So I'm going to go ahead and add some more firewood to the fire and then light it. And then I need to eat some food before I go to sleep. Eat this crab. Get some water from this coconut. And as you do things, you, your level does go up for, for the different tasks that you do. Okay, so you see both my food and thirst is above 60. So now we're going to go ahead and sleep. I'm going to sleep for for seven hours. As you make this adjustment, look over here at your, your status bars. The longer you sleep, the lower your hunger and thirst gets, but the more energy you regain for the next day when you wake up. So I went ahead and slept. Now it is mid-morning time. You see the fire is out. The fire has has gone out. I'm going to go ahead and pick these stones up. Make sure I am not overweight. I'm going to leave those push, puff mushrooms there. Now we're going to head up to the top of this cave. As we move through this cave, you need to be very careful because there are scorpions in here. This section right here, there are three of them. There's one right here in front of us. There is another one. There are two more up here. There's one right here. I'm not sure. Okay. The third, the second one is here and there's the third one. Very hard to see. And like I said, go ahead and grab these because we will need these for poison control later on. Keep moving up inside this cave. Another area of scorpions. There's two right in front of me. Very hard to see again. I can't even see where that... Okay, there, there's... I think there's a third one up here, but I'm not sure. I don't see him, so I'm just going to keep moving through. Oh, and there he is. He bit me, so... Lucky I dodged the bullet of taking poison of, from him. I'm going to go ahead and grab that. And as you saw, I just got a survival point. So once I get out of this cave, we'll go ahead and take a look at the survival point. There are sticks in here too that you can pick up. So as we come out, you can see it is foggy because the weather does say it. If you hit your tab key and come over to character. So these little diamonds mean that there are new things for you to check out. So if you look at your character... I do have a survival point now, so I can add a new survival point to any one of these stats if I want. Concentration. This I've tried and it really, I don't find a use of this one as of right now. That could be just me, but I don't think I would suggest using that one right off the start. I think they need to fix that. So you got res resist disease, poison, thirst control, hunger control, and better sleep. I suggest one of these one of these down here. Thirst gives you that f plus five bonus. Food plus five bonus. Uh, reduces uh, poison by 30%. The chance of getting poison. There are lots of snakes and scorpions around. And I'm constantly getting bit by them. Uh, reduce your, your chance of d uh, getting sick from the weather. So depending on how you want to do it. I'm going to go ahead and... I'm going to go with water. Because I find water right now very hard to... Not very hard, but because you find it in coconuts and some food. So I'm just going to increase that stat right there. Now, right here, it says the uh, the resource map. We are going to go ahead and make charcoal and, and find the resource map. So if we come out here again, that that smoke signal right there is where the our campsite is at. Like I said, that's the green pillar. But if we come out and come to the right, there are some more of these Jatoba trees. There are some more of these trees that we are able to gather long sticks from. So that is another location of where these long stick trees are at. At the beginning of the game in the early stages of the map. Right there is a, a wild dog. It looks like a big squirrel or something. So when they attack, you have... You can charge your, your spear like this. And as they get close, make time it so they don't bite you. And then if you look over them, you are able sometimes to gather items off of them. So I can grab a bone from this guy. Click on it. 
I need the, the cuttery, which I have a stone knife. Go ahead and click on it, and now I do have that bone. So if you click in your blueprints or your inventory, it will tell you what you can make with that bone. A fishing rod or this is locked, a bone knife. So like I said, these trees right here do give you more sticks. I'm not going to take it because it's going to put me overweight. If you continue to the right, these trees right here are orange trees. Oop. And you could also see right here. So I use that spear and you can see how quickly the durability items are reduced. So I either have the option of dropping or destroying this. There is no reason to destroy it because it takes 10 minutes and you get nothing out of it. So I just suggest dropping it and I will make another one. So right here, these are orange trees. So I'm going to just gather three oranges. So there's three of them right here. Again, do not chop these trees down because the resources will respawn in those trees. I'm going to... Okay, so I have my spear re -clip. So now I'm going to head over. If you look at this big tree right here with the vines hanging off, this is where we want to head to. So I'm going to head over in this direction. But I'm also going to gather some branches off of these trees in front of me. Because I want enough to make a fire and I also need some to make a charcoal stick. I'm just going to gather enough so I don't overweigh my overburden myself. Key thing, do not run through these trees right here because they will cause damage. So I'm going to head right over to this tree. I'm going to put a campfire. Oh, I'm not going to put a campfire. So one thing to watch out for once you get into the woods is rattlesnakes. You can hear them, but they are very hard to see. I am far enough out of its reach that it will not strike on me. But if I get too close, he will make a strike and I will get poison. Uh, to throw a spear, hold your right mouse button. And right there, I kill them from a distance. If I interact with them, I can get this, uh, this piece right here. You can't get, as of right now, you cannot get meat from snakes. So now I'm going to go ahead and build my campfire. Okay, so now that I got the fire going, we're going to go ahead and see right here is a mapping tool. It takes one stick. We're going to go ahead and craft this. Now that we crafted it, we do have it in our inventory right here. As you can see, it is raining now. So uh, that put my fire out. But I'm going to come to this tree right here. And I'm going to place the ladder. There was a rope that we grabbed in the cave that was the ladder. So I'm just going to walk up to this ladder, climb up the tree. Once you get up to the top, click E for map. Hit your space bar or click this for mapping. Again, you need the, char uh, the, the, the charcoal tool. And it's, and it's too dark, so you have to do it during the daytime. And as we come up here, it says a great place for mapping. So let's go ahead and hit the E key. Hit your space bar for mapping. As you can see, it does require charcoal. So let's start mapping takes three hours to do so when you when you do mapping it will unlock a small area of the island that you can see from that tree right there so this is not the complete island this is just resources that are in this area that we can see from the tree so there is my smoke signal as of right now that's where we came ashore at coconuts and tells you diff different items that you can get in this area so with that, as the sun is starting to go down, that is the very basics of getting started on this game. I'm going to do another video following this one about gathering more resources, making medicine, and starting to build a camp for you to use as a base for survival. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. And you have a great time out here exploring this deserted island as a castaway. Enjoy your journey. I am Magic Flying Potato and I am Oot.